So we're here to solve this round trip by Bryce Hurt called Speed of Light and Speed of Sound. I'm always amazed with the uh, themes people pick out from natural constants and using the, the full precision of 299792458, which in meters per second is the speed of light in a vacuum. It's an interesting start for this puzzle. 343, I remember as a speed of sound. I think there's a particular temperature in dry air where that's the speed. But really, I remember it's 343 because it's also 7 cubed. So it's a, it's a fun number, 343. Um, for what it is. Um, in the case of this puzzle, which is 9 by 9, the 9s from the speed of light are a really easy place to start, and then also the 8 and 7. 8 is 1 off the max, and 7 is 2 off the max of the grid, so they'll have to take these middle stretches as I'm drawing in. What I see that that puts in right away, and we'll mark some edges here we can't come in from, um, this 3 on the left is now pretty constrained. It would have to cross over 6 cells to take this stretch, so it can't cross over these. Suddenly this, this down here can't cross over this stretch, and so we're left with a single run of threes that we can use. If we actually think about a run of four, uh, if this turns, it can take this four. If it turns here, it can take, sorry, this four, but there's no group of four that doesn't start from the cell. If this came further down, this now is six and three, and there's no way to add up to four. So we mark in this edge, and that out completes this seven to the top. Now that is splitting the space of six that have to come together or four on their own. So to get this four clue to work, it has to be four on their own. That marks in this edge, which closes off this corner, brings the eight down, three coming to the left and turning straight up is now a good start for the puzzle. Um, that four clue actually marks off these edges. And that now means we've got this channel here that would need to pass through three cells to be used, but a two can't. Uh, from the top can't take that channel, so this 9 has to turn uh, right away. That means this turns right away. Coming to the bottom of the grid, these can't turn in, into each other. They would close off the loop, so this comes to the left, this comes up. We still have to figure out how do we get a 2 in this whole column, and it's not going to be coming from this group, which is already longer than that. It's not going to come through this stretch, so we're going to have this edge or this edge be the edge that gets us through two cells, and whichever that is will turn straight here. Um, we've got some other long clues to think about. Let's come back maybe to this 5. Um, this cell is turning, so either 5 is in this first stretch, or the 5 includes this cell. If this turned down, it only gets 3 long. If it turned up, it gets to this cell when it's 5 away, but would have to continue to be 6 away. So the 5 is here before the turn. Uh, this comes to the left and turns. This comes to the left. Now the case for the 4 that plays out kind of like the 5, if this doesn't turn here, then this cell is going to be part of the four stretch, but coming up it would have to extend through this group, and coming down it would be five long. So this has to actually turn and be the four. That comes over, this comes down. Uh, this has to turn, but that is the end for this two clue from above. So this comes to the left, this comes down, and closes this off. So that all looks good. Uh, we probably have to come to some outside constraints at this stage. In part because I've got two clues I haven't spent this four and three. The four is certainly still turning from this. The three could be here. The three could also be here and extend over, but I think a key thing I have to do is, is kill this edge. And that's, if I look at the loop shape right now, um, the, these two ends are the same part of a subloop. And so if they connected, that would now lead to one uh, more than one closed loop in this grid. So this edge is absolutely critical to mark off at this stage. Now we have to think about where do I get 3 in the grid, and I can no longer take this 3, I can only take this 3, so I mark that in, put this into the grid, this is the end of the 3, so this is the end of that turn, this comes up, this comes over, these are still now the same ends, this has come sort of over here, but what that means is this can't turn up, this has to extend, this comes up here instead, it comes to the left, and when it comes down we finish off the grid, so a really, really crossing itself loop in many, many ways, but one single loop when we trace it all out. Really fun puzzle that started from the speed of light and the large nines, uh, eight and seven and that full value, but these left and right clues, the threes, and then eventually these fours working off limited paths to get set. Got us into the mid stages of the puzzle, and I think a key observation towards the end was how we couldn't come together and close off this end, um, or we'd close a loop too soon. So a great challenge for Thursday, a really fun use of physical constants as a theme for a puzzle. So thanks, Bryce, for this grid, and we'll see you again soon.